Hello, are you nervous that you will get burning on your LG C10? Then let me tell you how to avoid it. I'm Razumazu and by the end of this video you will know how I have avoided burning on my LG C10. Even though I have been using it for 8 hours a day, 7 days a week for about a year, I've had no burning at all. I'll show you what software I use and the settings in the CX as well. Let's level up. The LG C10 is an amazing screen with deep colors, HDMI 2.1 and fantastic blacks. I've been using the 48 inch for about a year or so and I know there's a lot of videos showing how people who use it as a monitor experience burning after a while, including the big man himself over at Linus Tech Tips, but I think most of that can be prevented if you take the right precautions. Since this is an OLED screen, there is a very real risk of burn-in. And if you want to use it as a monitor, I suggest you follow these tips here. OLED technology gives a gorgeous picture, but it isn't perfect. With OLED, each pixel emits its own light, and that means it can wear out at different rates. For example, if a particular area is lit in bright white, a lot more than the rest of the display for extended periods of time, that area's peak brightness may not be the same a few years later. This effect also translates to the subpixels, where if one color is used excessively compared to the others, a color shift may occur in that particular spot after heavy use. The effect is called burn-in, and although it's far from as severe as it used to be on plasma TVs, it's still something to keep in mind. If you own an OLED panel or if you are contemplating buying one, you might want to take care. This is especially relevant when you start using an OLED panel as a computer monitor. On computers you have icons and menu bars that never move but always stay in the same place. This means that the pixels in that area always emit the same light, which in turn can cause burn-in. However, TVs and monitors today are loaded with functions to prevent that from happening. Let's dig into a few tricks to avoid burn-in on the LG C10. The LG TV comes with a lot of functions specifically to avoid burn-in. Activate all of them. So first, go into the menu and go to Energy Saving. This will configure how your TV dims itself based on how much movement is happening on screen. This can be a bit annoying if you are using it as a monitor because it will slowly dim itself and suddenly turn back on when it thinks something is about to happen, resulting in your eyes getting a sudden sunburn. Pick one that you think is suitable for you, but just make sure it is turned on. Next we go to OLED screensaver. Here at the top we see the pixel refresher. This is what you use if you start noticing burn-in. The TV will also run this once in a while when you turn it off to keep the pixels fresh. You don't need to touch anything here. What is important here is screen shift. Make sure this is turned on. It will shift all the pixels on the screen, one pixel to the left and back. And it will do it once in a while. I have stared a lot at this screen and I have never noticed it happening. Remember, static pixels are bad, you need to make them change once in a while. Pixel shift does that. The last thing here is logo luminance adjustment. This dims areas on the screen that the TV thinks are logos. Imagine watching a TV channel an entire day and having that channel logo sit in the corner during every broadcast. Well, this function tries to deal with that. Again, I have never noticed this when using the screen as a PC monitor. And finally, go to General, Additional Settings, Eco Mode, Auto Power Off. Make sure your TV never ends up just sitting there turned on with no friends and nothing to do but burn in. Set an Auto Off timer. Your electricity bill will also thank you for that one. Oh, one more thing. This is a Geek Channel, so I guess I should show you a little extra trick. If you go to the menu, click Programs and then hover the cursor over Program Tuning and Settings and then click the one button on the remote five times. This happens. Here you can see the firmware and connections for the TV, but more importantly you can see what refresh rate you are currently running with. This can be important when you are setting up the TV with your computer and you want to be sure you are actually running those sweet 120Hz. Moving on. So by now you should have caught on that static images on the screen is bad. 
So that means we need to remove as much of the static stuff as possible and make sure the screen changes regularly. One simple way of making sure you don't leave your screen with a static image while you are away from the computer is by making sure you have a screensaver that kicks in fast. Tip 3. Menu bar. Windows, Mac and Linux have menu bars. You probably don't think much about it, but that is a very static element on your screen. To fix this, you simply need to make the menu bar auto hide itself so it only appears on mouse over. If you have never used this before, it can take a bit of getting used to. But this is important because the menu bar will cause burn-in eventually if you don't do this. The same goes for your desktop icons. They never move and are always there, so unless you always run all your apps in full screen, I suggest you hide the icons on your desktop. This also requires a bit of getting used to, but you can always access them from your file application. Tip 5. Animated wallpaper. Finally, as you might have noticed, I use an animated desktop wallpaper. There are many programs who will let you do this. I'm using one called Wallpaper Engine, but there are many others as well. These will probably cost you a bit of money, but considering how much money you spend on the TV itself, I think it's a good investment to keep it working. In my case, I have configured the wallpaper so it automatically changes every 4 minutes. That means that all the pixels being shown on the desktop gets changed on top of the running animation. This means I don't have to worry about parts of the wallpaper showing between open windows. These are the tips I have been following, and so far I have had no burn-in, even though I use this display at least 8 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you have any other tips or any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. If you like the video and want to see more content like it, please click the like button and consider subscribing. Until next time, this is Razumazu, signing off.